Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Neat Crafters. That didn't work. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Neat Crafters. I said that wrong. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Neat Crafters. That was high pitched. Hi guys, thanks. That was low pitched. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Neat Crafters. Oh my god, that'll have to do. Jeez, right. <laughs> oh my god. That's a great start to the video. Oh yeah. Um, so. Hi, today we. Why? I can't speak today. Oh my god. Today. Right, today, guys, we're going to be doing a build spotlight. Or, no, it's not build spotlight because I'm not spotlighting it, I'm just doing it. I'm building myself. It looks like we're going backwards, but I'm actually going forwards. It's a really weird optical illusion. Anyway. Sorry, I just had to point that out. Oh my god, I've gone so far. Never mind. Um, okay, so this is a, a quicksand trap. Um, so what you're going to need to do is dig out an area which you want to make out of quicksand. Now, you want to make it fairly rough. You don't want to make it look too obvious that it's a trap because if it's a, a great big dirty square, um, well, you know, it's kind of obvious. This is a one-use trap and you can get the items off it if you want. I'm going to show you the version where you don't, uh, but you can. So you need to dig a pit. Uh, however big you want, it really doesn't matter. Actually, I am not going to bother making a pit huge. So, uh, scrap that. I'm going to make a small pit and show you the technique. But if you want to go out and do a big pit, then that's fine. So this can be quite good for survival games maps, or if you make those, which I don't usually. I'm trying, I'm trying to join Team Variety, but I'm not 15. So Anyway, so um, if you just make a, a rough circle or square or whatever you want um, and then make it three blocks deep uh, here's where I do my magic so yeah this is the this is the cool thing okay so um, yeah I'm gonna work my magic uh, here we go I've got to stand on this magical sand square uh, and face this way um, sorry just give me a sec this is Brilliant editing genius. This is, are, you, are you ready for this? I mean, not editing. I mean magic, totally. So I'm gonna look. Stand here. So I'll put a lime wool here, and when I'm stood on this lime wool pit, is magically three blocks deep. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, I hope that editing worked. I mean magic, magic. That's what I meant. Oh. Hi, hello, hello, hello. That was that was just a random lag spike for no apparent reason. No, it wasn't because I jumped. Never mind. Oh, oh my magic missed a square. <gasps> my magic took out a square that it shouldn't have, and also some bedrock which it shouldn't have. Anyway, um, so magic's not perfect, obviously. Quite obviously. Anyway, uh, now, um, um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. We need to fill the entire thing, and yes, you did. Oh my God, what's that? That just makes me totally dizzy. I cannot look at that. That is horrible. I, I might have to put an epilepsy warning on this. This is really, really seriously dis disturbing. Oh my God, this texture pack was good until I saw this. What is it doing? It's just gone mad. Crazy water, or crazy texture pack makers, more like. So, oh my god, it's a resource pack. In 1.6.4, oh yeah. Don't know when that came out, uh, but it's cool. Uh, there's no difference at all, because it's still 1.6. But hey. Oh, wow, that was quick. So, um, I've filled it with water, not by magic. Oh my god, it looks like, like sick that babies have. So that wasn't a nice image, but it's true. So, you know just going to dig myself a little hole there which is going to be quite important later as you find out but not now god damn it um, so just need to fill that in there oh my god 
it's horrible. Anyway, um, it's alright when it's still, but when it's moving, it's, it's just horrible. Okay, so anyway, now I need to add some lily pads all over the surface, literally on every bit of the surface. Which may take me a little while without my magic, but I really can't be bothered to do too much editing with this because it takes so long to, I mean too much magic because it takes so long to process in the editing bit, oh my god. Uh, if any of you are too stupid to understand what I'm saying, then go to hell. Oh, I'm only joking. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, oh my god. Oh, by the way, uh, you probably haven't noticed, but it's our, it's our first anniversary. Uh, Monday. Monday. I don't know when this will come out. Probably Saturday. Um, not many of you watch it. Um, whoa, like, it's so weird when that happens. Oh my god. What's going on? It just does it sometimes. It's really annoying. Ah, there we go. We're back. Whoa, no we're not. Whoa, are we? I don't know. What's going on? Whoa, what's going on? Probably running out of memory on my computer. I don't know. Ah, ah, ah. Give me a sec, I'll, re I'll reload it. Right back. Cool. I uh, don't know why I did that. You just did. That was my magic. I re I uh, magic it. Okay, so this is the clever bit now. So you're gonna get whichever whichever droppable material you want. Not TNT because you have to ignite it, and it's also blatantly obvious that it's a trap, unless you have some very very weird sense of decor. But TNT traps aren't what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about more clever traps. Uh, more sophisticated traps and traps that work on glitches. This is a glitch working trap and it might not work in the future. In fact, since it's 1.6.4, it might not even work now. And if it doesn't, I'm screwed because I haven't released a video. Oh, why did it do that? That was really bizarre. Anyway, um, I'll just add the lily pack, lily pack, lily pad back down. Maybe I just put it in the water by mistake. I don't know how, but I did. Maybe I made it fall through the lily pad. However that happens to work. Um, anyway, so once I've covered this with sand, magically, oh yeah, magically, so once I cover this with sand, which will happen in a second, three, two, oh, that's three seconds, isn't it? Three, two, one. And it's here. Yeah, look at that. Now we're going to go down into the little hidey hole, which I made earlier. That looks really scary. And I hate the water. And then, by putting blocks underneath, we remove the lily pad. But as you'll notice, the sand stays on top. Now, actually, I missed a, I missed a little bit here. We need to put the, the bait, or the chest, in. It doesn't have to be a trap chest. It just needs to be a normal chest. Put it in the middle. And then you remove it. So when the chest opens, it will cause a block update. Now, I'm not doing this quite perfectly, but it should be okay. Uh, now, um, yeah, so this is, you You have to do all of this, which is, a, I, I'll admit, it's a bit of a pain, but it's worth it in the end, because the result is really cool, I've got to say. Um, yeah. So I'm going to just skip this. This is editing, not magic, just to show you the difference. So I'll skip until I've done that. Right, technically I did it. Um, 
uh, and I went wrong. And that just shows you the difference between magic and um, editing magics. So, yeah, so if you accidentally uh, break a lily pad, all the sand that you've uh, removed falls down. So I, I didn't bother to restart that one because it took me absolutely forever. So I just did another one. So now, as you can see, the, all the water's gone. I've replaced that with blocks, and all the lily pads are gone. And this is floating above. Now, this is where you need to be really careful. Just remove all the blocks from underneath, and then you are free to do whatever you want. However, uh, I didn't realise the void was so close, so I can't. Oh no, I can do what I was originally going to do. Oh, cool. Uh, so. Obviously, in a super flat like this, it's not going to work perfectly. But I am... Um, oh my god, I'm so glad this isn't epileptic. I'm just going to do all the lava I can. So, if I had a proper floor, I'd be doing this properly. Um, sorry, just give me a sec. There we go. So now that all that lava is there, then we need to add. This is the really most important part. We need to add cobwebs all down here, and then you'll see what happens. Then you just want to fill this in. So I've just got some grass blocks. So you don't have to wait for the grass to grow. kidding me I forgot about that so yeah when someone causes oh I'll show you again very quickly oh my god I'm so sorry okay so hopefully this won't happen with you lot because you're all much cleverer than me I presume I presume is so water there we go then lily pads it's much easier with a smaller one, obviously. Then need a little space, a little hidey hole. This time, I don't really don't want to fill in the hidey hole. So you might want to leave a staircase that goes up somewhere else because you don't want to replace blocks right next to the sand because it will destroy it. Why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? Oh my god. Right. Um. <sighs> Flip it. Okay, so epileptic water gets the lily pads on it again. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I'm really, really, really bad at this. And then. There we go. There's the sand. Then obviously lava goes down here. Much easier to do because we only have to worry about edges. Then cobwebs. Remember, the really important thing is not to place the cobwebs directly underneath the sand, otherwise, this won't work. Now, normally that hidey hole wouldn't be there at all, but it is in this case. I just need something that would. Okay, so say, the, say I, I, I didn't forget to put a chest on there. Say say uh, that that breaking this grass block was the same as doing a chest. Now I want to show you what would happen from the from the person's point of view, and then you literally sink into the ground because the sand falls into the cobwebs and goes through, and there goes my head. No. Oh, and now I've started to burn. So at that point you would have died. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching me fail at Minecraft. If you want to watch me fail at Minecraft more, then uh, please click that like and subscribe button. 
There's, they're two different buttons. Screw it. Um, please look that lick, uh, lick. Oh my god, don't lick our like and subscribe buttons, please. Please don't lick them. Please. Uh, this texture pack is the Raincraft texture pack. Um, hope you like it. Uh, I hate the water, but everything else looks cool. Ah, epileptic water. No, I just I really hope I don't have epilepsy because that's horrible for me. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as I said, if you like it, please leave a comment and click that those like and subscribe buttons. Don't lick them. Um, so, thank you for watching. What are you doing in the floor? Oh, sorry. And goodbye.